It seems like every update Rare introduces now comes with a brand new set of cosmetics. Whether that be a reskin of previous cosmetics earned through unlocking combinations, or completely brand new styles and skins being added to the game. All of this can add up to needing some serious amounts of coin in the game, and that my friends, is where you have come to the right place. Before we get into the video, I'm currently live over on Twitch, so if you like this video, make sure to not only like and subscribe, but also come into the stream and say hi. Also make sure to join the Mystic Penthouse Discord server to chat with other members of this amazing community, as well as to keep up to date with my current schedules both on Twitch and YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a lot of money in a really, really short period of time, and I will show you how this all works out later on in the video. For this method, I would suggest getting another member of your crew and running a two-person sloop. First things first, what you're going to want to do is start hopping servers. What you're looking for is an Ashen Winds event. Once you've found the event, start stocking up your boat. After that, head on over to the Reapers table and raise the Emissary flag. If you don't want to raise Reapers for this method as you are apprehensive about getting into combat, you can raise the Order of Souls Emissary instead. Get your anchor up and start sailing over to the event. This is where things are going to get a little bit spicy. There are a couple things to look out for on your way to the event. You're going to be wanting to look out for any shipwrecks on your way and skull forts. The reason I say this is because in Season 3 they can drop the brand new tridents. On your screen right now is a map which highlights all of the skull forts in the game as well as all possible shipwreck spawns. This map can be found on Rare Thief. I will link the interactable map in the description of this video in case you would like to check it out for yourself. You're going to want to grab the tridents from these locations to help speed up the event process. These are random spawns though so there's a little bit of RNG. Also skeleton ships can drop tridents too so make sure to not only take them down for emissary rep and loot but also the tridents as well. Once you're at the event take all of your tridents ashore and begin the fight. You're going to want to leave one person on your ship parking up in a position where they can constantly cannon the boss and the other person is using tridents at full charge to take down the boss. The person on the island is going to want to run a blunderbuss and sword weapon combo so that if they run out of tridents you can constantly blunder the boss and use your sword dash to destroy skeletons as soon as they spawn and take care of them quickly. The boss will always spawn next to an ammo crate so you should never have to worry about running out of ammo. There will also be barrels near, filled with food, so you shouldn't have to worry about dying either. If you're getting low on cannibals as well, you can just both go on the island with a blunderbuss too, as this kills the boss insanely fast. Even quicker with a four-person crew, as the health does not scale. I think the world record for this event is under five minutes or so, so it can definitely be done even quicker with four people. Once you've completed the fight, if you are Reapers, head to the hideout to sell, and if you are Order, head to the nearest outpost to sell. Please do not use any of the Ashen Skull charge, as it depletes the amount of money you can earn from it, which without emissary value is 10,000, so if you're grade 5, this is literally 25k for the skull. You should also receive a Ritual Skull from the event, so if you're feeling spicy, maybe swing by the Fort of the Damned to see if the lights are active and complete a Fort of the Damned while you're there. You might as well. I should also mention that you can do this with Skull Forts too. It's just a lot quicker to do the Ashen Winds event and in my opinion it's way more fun. But if you get bored, that's always an option too. Tridents just help out so so much with PvE, it's insane, so make sure you keep them when you can and use them against Skeleton Lords of the Sea. One final thing, if you do decide to switch it up and do the skull forts, the vaults can actually contain multiple tridents so you can cycle the process. With all of that, hopefully you should see yourself making a lot of money really, really quickly. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.